All right, it's time for another special countdown, and this time I'm gonna go over my top 10 Adam Sandler films. Now, he's honestly been in some really great movies, in my opinion, and he's had some really good dramatic roles. Speaking of which, the ones that I'm showing you right now. But those films aren't normally called Adam Sandler films. So I tried to figure out what I could use to categorize an Adam Sandler film. And so I decided the only films I'll use for this list are movies that star Adam Sandler and were either written and or produced by Adam Sandler himself. So I looked it up and there are 20 films in that category which I will consider Adam Sandler films. So just so you know what to expect and what I consider Adam Sandler films in this list, here are the 20 films. So if you absolutely love a movie that Adam Sandler is in and it wasn't on that list, well, it's not going to be considered in this countdown. So chances are I probably love that film. But under this certain category, I can't accept it in this countdown. I'm sorry. And I wish I could because this top ten list isn't all that good. Now even though this top ten list is pretty weak, I still have two Adam Sandler films that I want to give honorable mention to because uh, one of them I was completely surprised with, the other one I still kind of enjoy from time to time. And those movies are You Don't Mess With a Zohan, completely surprised by that one, and Bedtime Stories, which is a fun kids movie. Okay, with that all done, let's commence the countdown. So number 10 is a movie that I just reviewed, and you probably have seen the review for it, Pixels. So since I just reviewed it, I'm not going to talk much about it. Just know that it is my number 10 out of these categories that I consider Adam Sandler movies. And remember, I gave that three stars, which is an average score, so we're starting off pretty high for a top 10 list. Now number nine is a film that recently came out from Adam Sandler that I thought was really funny. Now, it's not a great film, I can understand why people hate it, and I can understand why some people really, really hate it because they feel like it was just a vacation for these actors, but overall I did enjoy it and I'd have to give number nine to Blended. Uh, nothing much I can say about it. It's more like a three or a three and a half for me. So number eight is another three and a half movie for me, and it is Funny People. Now, I know some people praise this movie. Some people absolutely hate this film. Some people were bored by this film. Now, I'm somewhere in the middle. I did enjoy it. There was times where it got a little too long and a little too boring. There are times when it is extremely predictable. But I did appreciate that all the stand-up comedians in the film pretty much were representations of what they are in their movies today. Seth Rogen was very Seth Rogen. Adam Sandler was like a version of himself. And Jonah Hill, his stand-up comedian style, felt like something Jonah Hill would be. So there's something appreciable of funny people. But overall, it's not a great film for me, but I can understand why a lot of people like it. Alright, number seven might be a little bit of an oddball choice, but it is Click. Yeah, the first half or third of the movie, something along those lines, is extremely childish, poor taste, really bad. But overall, I did enjoy it, and when it got to the heartfelt moment and the moment where you're supposed to sympathize for the character, I remember sympathizing for that character even though he was an immature Adam Sandler character at the beginning of the film. And I know a lot of people feel that's forced and I can understand why, but for me, 
I don't know. It's one of the few Adam Sandler movies where I legitimately teared up towards the end when it was supposed to be heartfelt. And that has something for it. I gotta commend it for that. Will it do that nowadays? I don't know. I haven't seen it in a long time, but Click is going to be my number seven for this list. All right, with number six, we're finally getting into the older Adam Sandler stuff that he's known for and that people love. And number six is The Waterboy. Yes, completely stupid film, sports comedy. I'm not a big fan of sports comedies or sports, but The Waterboy had something going for it and it's meant to be stupid, it's meant to be funny in that way. It's like an Adam Sandler version of Dumb and Dumber, but Dumb and Dumber is better. Alright, number five is, I think, the oldest Adam Sandler film. I think it was his first. It is Billy Madison. Now, I see this film quite often, especially when my family are playing cards and we have it on on the TV while we're playing cards. I see it quite a bit and I still laugh every time even though the the jokes are completely random, really out there, very crazy, very strange and weird, but for some reason it completely works for Billy Madison. It does not work for all films. There's some films that are completely random that I absolutely can't stand, but for some reason Billy Madison, it works and I have no idea why. But it's, that's, so that's why it's only number five. Because I, I, I can't fathom why it works. It, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. So number four is another Adam Sandler movie with Drew Barrymore that I really enjoyed. And it was Fifty First Dates. Yeah, there's a few things I dislike about it. A few things that are a little too ridiculous and too raunchy and too gross. But overall, it's one of the better rom-coms that Adam Sandler has done. And there's something charming and something authentic about it. I'm not sure what, but there's something about 51st Dates that I really enjoyed. And it's number four on this countdown. Number three is my favorite of the older Adam Sandler movies that I really enjoyed. And that is Happy Gilmore. It has a little bit of randomness that Billy Madison had, but it does it in a way that doesn't feel random and feels purposeful and there's something just wacky and crazy and something genius about Happy Gilmore from time to time that it's one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies of all time even if I consider some of the ones that is just him acting and uh, some of the more dramatic roles Happy Gilmore would still probably be among my favorite ten without having to categorize it into this way. Number two is probably the Adam Sandler film that I've laughed the most and that is Anger Management. Jack Nicholson is incredibly crazy. So much of this is incredibly crazy but it is non-stop laughing throughout most of the film and there's something just absolutely genius about Anger Management and I just can't help but thinking it's one of the greatest Adam Sandler films that I've seen. Now number one is probably my favorite Adam Sandler movie of all time even if I were to include films where he just simply acted in and was more of a dramatic role. Big Daddy is number one. In all honesty there's nothing in this film that I dislike. I think the ending was different than you would expect of an Adam Sandler movie and in a little bit more realistic fashion even though it's still similar to other Adam Sandler films and the relationship between Adam Sandler and this kid feels genuine and feels great and there's just something heartfelt and something very comedic in Big Daddy that I just can't help but loving and so that is my number one Adam Sandler film of all time. And I know this is probably a pretty weak top 10 list, especially to some people that would put in some of his more dramatic roles and also add some of the films where he simply acted in. Now some people consider Wedding Singer an absolutely amazing Adam Sandler film. I have not seen it yet and I didn't worry about seeing it because 
He simply acted in The Wedding Singer. He wasn't part of the writing process or the producing process, so it wasn't an Adam Sandler film when I compared to all these other films on this list. So maybe that would be just as good or better than Big Daddy. I don't know, but for me, Big Daddy is definitely my favorite. And like I said, some of these films are pretty weak, but I think a lot of them are pretty obviously the best of those 20 that I listed off. So are you a big Adam Sandler fan? What is your favorite Adam Sandler movies? If you don't like them at all, what is your worst and what don't you like about Adam Sandler? Go ahead and comment. I'm open to discussion. And as always, this is Bruce Gifford and this was just my opinion.